Corbin Shara from Tucson, Arizona, 19 years old. My setbacks throughout the throughout the last season have just been really just a broken femur. It took took a good five, six months to really get back and, and be on that bike where I'm at. That had happened at the World Championships last year. A guy in front of me got kind of squirrely and ended up, ended up hitting him in the air and, and broke my femur. Actually, kind of a good thing that happened. I mean, I know it wasn't, wasn't the greatest because I couldn't race, but it was a good thing to find out who I was and, and kind of get a look at myself and, and what I really wanted to do on the bike. And it kind of inspired me breaking my leg. It was kind of cool. As far as the regular training program goes, I mean, Nothing too special. I mean, I still try to keep it mostly, just keep it on the bike and get in the gym two to three times a week and, and do some plyos and basically squats and some different kind of stuff, single leg and everything, but, but really nothing too special. For me, it's, it's my drive that sets me apart from the competition. I mean, I love to work hard and, and training and know that I'm putting in the work that I got to do and, and also the drive on the track to just go out there and, and put it all out on the track to finish on the podium or win is, is what sets me apart. Yeah, I think I think as a competitor being being from Tucson, it's I think it's really it's really helped me. The weather's always been great there. I love to just ride when it's hot because I just stay warm and everything. And, and there there's a little bit of a setback being from from Tucson that there's not too many great competitors from there. There's a couple really good expert guys that are coming up that I that I train with, but I don't think it's too much of a disadvantage. I mean, I'm only five hours from the the Chula Vista Olympic Training Center. The GT Speed Series bike has been the, the best bike that I've ridden so far. It's been really great to me. I mean, the, the dimensions and the length and everything is perfect for my height and, and basically been perfect for my riding style. And I always like, like sort of a stiff bike, but nothing too stiff. And, and it's right in between where everything's at and gives you a good balance of length and ride height and everything. It's great. My backyard's different than, than most people's out there. There's some kids with some little rhythm sections and turns and whatnot, but my backyard is really, it's really evolved. I started on it when I was a little kid with just some piles of dirt and little skinny dirt jumps, and I was like, man, this is so cool. I'm jumping in my yard, and, and as I started racing BMX and the tracks and everything got bigger, and that just meant the jumps got bigger as I went on, and, and now to this day, the, the track is great. It's, it's huge. There's some some decent size, almost super cross size jumps with some really great berms and hips and everything and great technical lines to improve my skills. Oh, I rode flats for for the first seven years of my career and, and it was really my parents that had pushed me to, to just ride flats and, and I'm really, really thankful for that because riding, riding flat pedals really improved my skills all around on the bike and there were guys at Nationals looking at my bike and, and swearing at me, telling me telling me I'd never beat them and, and I, was, I was always getting cussed at by these little kids and telling me that I'd never beat them another lap and, and I'd end up beating them and, and it would just be funny because they would get so mad that I was beating them on flat pedals. I'd like to send a huge thanks out to Red Bull, GT, the whole family, mom, dad, sisters, brother, grandpa, all the Tucson crew, everybody that's helped me throughout my career. Thank you guys.